Welcome back to Bipolar Cornbread. Not done in the middle, whatever. I got up today and I finally took my medicine last night. Slept. I got up today and had a bad start. Slept a little late. Didn't get to read my Bible, just a verse, or even be able to pray, you know what I'm saying, alone or whatever. Sometimes time gets away from us. And, you know, and then we, we then we see that had we gone ahead, maybe we would have been in a better mood and not said something we shouldn't have said to somebody or, you know. But uh, go back and apologize is all you can do and ask for forgiveness. But I did get home and, like I said, I, I ain't trying to preach to nobody. We all broken. But I, but I, I did write down this. I got one verse today on the app. And it, I mean, it kind of touched my heart, man. It, it resonated with me. I, I felt it. But it's Psalm 103 and 13. It says, like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. And I don't know about y'all, but when you've done everything you can do, and you struggle, and it seems like sometimes that everybody you look at, they're doing better. And they could really be doing worse, and you know the truth, God knows the truth. And we're not supposed to rat and tell on people, and I'm not. God said you can only be responsible for yourself. And uh, it's better to talk to him. But uh, I'm glad that he pities his children. Then they fear him. See, I know that I fear God. Or it wouldn't bother me, the things that I do. And then I do have a whatever. Uh, but I'm glad that he pities me. Because I know that I would pity my children. And what he's saying there is, you know, when we see our kids grow up. And they're doing something wrong. And we're wanting to tell them, you don't need to do this. And don't be like me. And like, we, they're going to go on and do it bullheaded. Really like sheep. You know, they go astray. But God pities us. We pity them. Feel sorry for them. Because we knew better. But th they can't see it because they ain't been through it yet. And uh, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. I thank God for that. I just want to tell somebody out there today. I know it seems like nobody understands. Nobody cares. I care. I mean, I ain't nobody, but I'll tell you what God is, and he cares. And uh, I ain't trying to make no channel to get followers. I don't care if you don't like it. Uh, I'm probably not going to put no on there where I'm acting out and angry or whatever. Why would I do that to begin with? Because all we'd end up with is a broke phone. I mean, that's it. Um, I'm trying to change. Uh, I did smoke a joint last night. Bible says confess your faults to your brethren that you may be healed. And I'm not claiming to be nobody or nothing because I ain't, man. I've been there and done that. You know, I'm the least. I was guilty. I am the sinner. I am broken. I was all them things that people called me. But I, but I don't have to be no more. Not, and, and, and I'm going to get off this medicine and uh. You know, I take three pills a day for my mood stabilizer. I don't even remember the name of it. You got a bad memory. Except for God's word. Like I said, I, 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 ain't, I ain't trying to push no religion on you. Nothing. I'm just telling you, I ain't, I'm glad that somebody thinketh upon me. We ain't supposed to be selfish, and I'm not. But that touched my heart when I read that. Because I felt guilty because I, I didn't pray. I didn't take the time. to just sit down and you got to talk. You think a lot if you're bipolar, you're always thinking in your mind. Things be going wrong with you, going along, and you're, you you can't even pay attention to your family or your kids because you're struggling in your mind. You got bills to pay. And uh, and I know that everybody else ain't doing good just because they look like they're doing good. They're struggling too, but I, I, I just rather not wear a mask. And uh, I'm just telling somebody out here today, man, don't give up. When your family gives up, Bible says when your mama and daddy gives up on you, when they forsake you, it says he will take you up. So I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't care if you got a mental problem. I don't care if you got a drug problem. You just you just need to sit down and talk to God like you talk to your wife. Everybody said, well, how do I pray? How do I pray? Just go somewhere by yourself. In your anger that you feel, you're hurt. You tell God. You say, I hate them. I'm sick of them. I want to hurt them, God. 
They don't understand, God. You've seen me all my life. You know what I've been through. And I've done a lot of wrong. And I've done justly what I got for it, too. But God knows what calls them things, the root inside of us. It causes the pain and the hurt. We can't tell nobody else. That's why we need him. So you go in there and you tell him. Even if you cussing. I hate him, God. I, and it, however you feel, I want him dead. You tell God that. Sit and scream it out. So that, that's how you release. We hold it in and we take it out on people. Our family. Or we're sitting there mulling it over because our, our mind's going a million different ways. And the whole time my son will be sitting there. And, you know, you lay down and you reflect back on your day. And you remember you told your son you'd do this or your daughter that and you let them down or maybe you was a little short with them and it had nothing to do with them but it's affecting them they watching this they seeing this and i want to live it but i'm not going to go around and tell them that that i'm something that i ain't like i said i smoked a joint last night all right legal medical i know i know i want to get off of it. god don't want me on it but i'm trying you know what i ain't giving up it was one joint so i'm getting up i come home today late and I, I read that Bible, but I'm glad he thinketh upon me. And he has pity on me. Mr. T, you say, I pity the fool. That's because that guy didn't know that he pitied him because he was a fool. Because he was fitting to get right with that guy. He was fitting to stand up in the bank. I pity the fool. He was having pity on the fool. He said, I feel sorry because that man don't know what he done got off in. He don't know who I am. Not that we anybody. But that's what God says. You know what I'm saying? Like as a father pitieth his children. God pity them that fear him. Not fear him. I fear hell. And I can't go to heaven just because I fear hell. I gotta fear God. I gotta, it's a it's a godly fear. I gotta love him. And I gotta just start just once or twice and tell him. Get them feelings out and try it. I ain't trying to make this long drawn out. God bless y'all. Have a good day. I hope this helped you. I know it was for you. Yeah. Uh I'm doing this. We will have some funny ones and go fishing and camping whenever. But God bless y'all. Thank y'all.